Hey, what is going on guys? Um, today I'm just going to do a little quick video on something uh, more on the hobby side of uh, wargaming or tabletop miniatures um, that's really developed in the past couple of years. Uh, there's been like this huge increase in it. Um, it almost seems exponential growth in, in how much it's been used. Um, so 3D printing uh, is one of the hottest things right now. Uh, a lot of war gamers are starting to use it. Tabletop miniatures players, even basic board game players are using it for uh, their games that they play. So uh, today I'm just going to show you some quick little basics. Maybe if you're curious about getting into it, uh, specifically for Star Wars Legion, but this can apply to any game. Um, so first thing that we're going to take a look at, at is the uh, type of 3D printer, which is probably the most important step of the process. For me, I did, you know, a couple weeks of Googling and searching research, trying to find, you know, best reviews and all that stuff. So I, I recommend doing that, obviously. Um, but I've gone through about five or six 3D printers that I've bought and returned because I didn't like them or they didn't work the way I wanted to. And I finally landed on the Creality Ender 3, which I highly recommend. Um, it's a great printer. Like, I've had it for like six months now. No issues other than maybe like basic jamming of the uh, filament. But, and the quality is really good for, it's only $200. I mean, uh, you can't get a better price. Um, so, the one drawback is that it comes like this. So, you're going to spend about 6 to 10 hours putting this thing together. It, but, I mean, it's just like a, uh adult Lego set. I mean... I wouldn't even go as far as to say that. I probably, 15 year old could probably put this thing together. So, um, you got to be a little technical. I mean, you got to be handy. You got to be able to fix the little issues you might have, and you know. But it's it's nothing crazy. You're not doing any any serious things, or at least I haven't. I mean, you can get as crazy as you want with these things. You can like put modifications on them. You can like really deck them out so i mean that's that's just a heads up that you do have to be a little tacky but not crazy um so yeah that is all i have to say about the 3d printer that i would recommend so next we're going to be taking a look at um how to actually you know start 3d printing once you have the 3d printer Alrighty, so now we're going to be taking a look at um, a really uh, valuable um, resource that you can use with the 3D printing uh, community. Um, so this is an open source website, which means people upload designs, um, you know, drawings, 3D drawings, and anybody can come on and download them. You can also you also have the option to donate to the uh, creator, which is nice. So if you really like the design or you want to support them, you have the option to do that. Um, so I usually come on here and just search like Star Wars Legion, uh, Star Wars Terrain, my brothers, you know, Fortnite. They love it. I've, I mean, I played Fortnite, of course. Um, but so yeah, let's just see what we get. Star Wars Terrain. So, a bunch of models, um, pretty good stuff on here. Whatever's at the top is uh, the most popular, and then as you go down. But, you know, I've gotten to the bottom, and there's still really good stuff down there. I mean, nothing on here is really bad, well, except for maybe a few, few things, but you cannot complain. This is free. Uh, there's also places like uh, Imperial Terrain and... I don't know any maybe kiwi or something you can go on there you, and you can buy their actual models and those are really nice uh designs and cad models so you would buy those from them instead of like making them yourself or you know 
uh, downloading them from Thingiverse. Um, so once you um, pick a design you want, say you want these like comm towers, then it'll show you usually a picture of them already printed out, which is nice so you can see how big they're going to be. Uh, then it'll show you like the different parts and this is a nice tool so if you want to see it just really quickly you are able to do that before even downloading anything which is really nice um, so yeah then let's see there's the files so you come over here you hit download and then you open it up and let's see it'll take you to Kira so okay so once you have the design that you want and you downloaded it or you made it or bought it or whatever uh, you're gonna bring it into the, your program that writes the code for where the uh, 3D printer is actually going to move around and how much filament it'll inject and heating and all that good stuff. Um, so I use Kira, which is a free software. Um, it's really good. I would recommend it. I'm sure there's better ones, but you probably have to pay for them. So here I have the model that we were taking a look at in Kira. I can go around, look underneath, you know, check everything out. Uh, over here on the left, I'm not going to go too much into detail on this, but there's some settings, you know, obviously, your your basic settings or what, whatever. Um, one of the best features, one of the features that I always use is the layers feature, and this has saved me many times. Because sometimes the program doesn't write the, the G code, they call it G code, um, correctly. And it just completely skips over parts. Like there's just a gap for some reason. Uh, there's just an issue with the uh, coding portion or maybe the model. I'm not sure, but always check out the layers. This will just go up and down. You can scan it a couple times like so. And it just shows you the tool path of the uh, actual object. Obviously, you can do um, some like scaling. You can up it or down it. You can rotate. You know, it's it's a nice program. I would recommend using this. Uh, so yeah, that's all I got on the program. Um, once you get the you know settings that you like and the placement that you like, you just save the G code. And then you're going to put it on your SD card, probably a micro SD card. That's what a lot of the printers use. So you put it on the micro SD and then you take it to the printer and then you're good to go. Alrighty, so I just started 3D printing something. Uh, it's been a little project that I've been working on. Just started recently. Uh, here's my uh, printer. We got a nice little setup here my hand in there so you can see like the size. It's, it's not bad. Uh, I'd say it's probably foot and a half to two feet by foot and a half to two feet of space that it takes up. Um, you can see here, maybe, uh, the display. We're at 210 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees uh, for the bed. Um, so, one of the hardest um, things about 3D printing is getting that first layer nice. Uh, once you have that nice first layer, then you really don't have to worry about it. Um, first rate layer is really the toughest part. Uh, sometimes you'll get like peeling over here on the corners, which can cause issues. Um, sometimes it doesn't stick properly, but once you have that first layer, you're really good to go. Um, so yeah. This is obviously filament spool. Um, I buy, they're buying the same stuff now because I really like this stuff. Uh, it's on Amazon 3D printer filament, uh, 3D cellutech. 
Uh, it's pretty cheap. It's only like 16 bucks. Gets you, I think, 2.2. So let me see. Let's see that. Yeah, 2.2 uh, pounds of filament, which is more than enough to do some uh, prints. So yeah. Uh, one of the biggest issues that you're gonna have with 3D printing is here and here and actually down at the at the nozzle. Um, it's like really low, so I don't know if you can see that, but um, probably the biggest issue is obviously clogs. So uh, you know stuff like heating preemptively in here, or maybe it gets heated up up here. Um, cause some issues that's why they got the fans and the cooling system so it doesn't back its way up um, but other than that I haven't had really any issues with this printer uh, it's pretty nice obviously you got the three axes you know XYZ uh, I think it's got four stepper motors in it, something like that uh, so pretty good quality it's really accurate. Um, I was I was impressed by the accuracy level that these printers are pumping out these days. It's, it's really something. Um, so yeah. All right. Next we're gonna be taking a look at some of my uh, 3D prints that I've done. Okay, so here we have some of my 3D prints. Uh, Hoth shield generator. Uh, obviously. This is painted up afterwards to look even better. So it just came out basic gray and then it was painted nicely. And another one we just spray painted it black so far. Uh, again, you can see that was what it looked like obviously uh, when it came off the print bed. Tatooine hut. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty cool. I love this feeling in here. It's so smooth, the uh, curve. It's actually really cool. Um, all of these uh, designs I got off of uh, Thingiverse, and so I, I don't take any credit for these. I just printed them off, obviously. So uh, if you want to go on there and check them out, this one's really sweet. It's a uh, Crash Tie Fighter. So it came in a couple of parts. And I put it together on a base. Look at that. That's pretty good detail laser holes and crash stuff. It's, it's a pretty good model. This is a bigger one that I did. Uh, came as like three different parts. Or actually maybe more than that. Like a couple. Uh, tops can come off. And then it's got nice little slots that goes on. Stairs uh, we glued on actually because you won't be playing without the stairs for this part. Um, so then we got the awesome laser cannons. These are one of the most popular designs on Thingiverse. Uh, so I printed this off as one, two, three, four, five different pieces. And then we stacked them and glued them, obviously. Uh, this one, if you're curious about timing, this one took like 60 hours about. Um, just pretty much non-stop running. Once you get that first layer down with 3D printing, you can pretty much leave it. I know it's not recommended, but I've had no problems. Uh, sometimes you come back after a few hours and it's kind of messed up, but what can you do? I'm not going to sit there and watch it. Uh, so this is one of the new projects that I've been working on. Uh, again, off of the thing of hers, I think it's made by Solology. I think that's how you say it. Uh, so it's like a dice and token tray. It's really nice. I'm really impressed. Uh, by how how good this thing is actually going to be useful. Like before, I was just using like a bin, just throwing everything in here. Now I got nice and organized for my dice and everything. I'm printing currently what's on my printer bed is going to be another one that goes underneath and they stack, and uh, it's going to be for like movement tools, range tools, my tokens, battle cards, and probably uh, let's see my command hand, I guess. So yeah, really nice. That One of the nice things about 3D printing is organization, organizational things like this uh, token tray. 
Uh, so now, here's a big building that I printed off. Um, these are like, I'm still working on it. These are like platforms and then you have like a set of stairs going around. And, um, So we got the roof, opens up, pretty nice. These archways look pretty good. And you can see like the, the brick look in there as well, which is really cool. Um, and then this thing comes off. So pretty nice little mod, modular set. Um, so yeah, you can do a bunch of things with uh, 3D printing. Obviously, I've been just pretty much printing off models and then I've just started getting to like organizational things and stuff to that effect. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I recommend buying a 3D printer, that's for sure. Uh, you can do a lot with it. Alrighty, so coming back to it about 10 hours, 41 minutes later, it's almost done. Maybe got like two or three more hours left. We can see made some good progress looks pretty good um, I definitely got some warping going on so my first layer like I said wasn't the best uh, you can have those issues here and there if you're not uh, paying attention I guess I guess it wasn't perfect but I mean it, it'll so it'll still turn out okay so we're all good I mean I'm not gonna worry too much about it it's just bottom of my dice thing so whatever um, but yeah so everything looks good um, other than that you can see like the infill I think I have it on like 30% which is like a lot but I want the tops to be filled in nicely so everything looking good um, yeah didn't take up that much plastic I mean I didn't even I started like Anyways, yeah, pretty cool stuff, man. Okay, I hope that video was uh, useful to you guys. Hope it gave you some good tips and tricks. Uh, that was just like my experience with 3D printing. Uh, I definitely recommend getting one for 200 bucks. I mean, it's really useful and you can do a lot of cool stuff uh, that you otherwise otherwise wouldn't be able to. Um, other than that. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Um, I'm not going to, you know, force you to. But if you want to, that'd be awesome. Uh, I'm trying to get a battle report up this weekend. I know it's been a while. Uh, just been busy with school and other things. So, yeah. Um, other than that, have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. See you next time.